Hey everybody, it's Jesse here from Summer Home Inspection. I'm up on a roof on here on this rainy day. Probably shouldn't be up here, but uh, for a couple reasons. So it's raining, everything's wet. And, but I'm uh, getting the job done, so up on this roof. I just want to show you something. Um, so obviously where I'm standing at right now, if you if you saw from down below, you'd see that this is actually an addition, like a sun porch they added. And then here's the electrical wires coming in, the main service drop for the house when the house was built from originally. And they usually attach the E right there and go into the meter meter down there. That was typical when the house was built. Nothing wrong with that. Um, notice it's not on a service mast like you would see. It's definitely not on the ground like most modern houses are. But um, there's a problem. So they decided on an addition here, but they left the electrical service um, um, service conductors where they were. So a um, few problems here. Um, a, uh, these wires are a um, couple inches from the roof, way too close um, according to um, service entrance wires, service entrance conductor clearance standards. And, because that's to make this such a sharp turn now, because it's in the way, actually, these two black ones right here, those are your two hots. This bare one right here is actually your neutral. But these two right here, it's actually your hots, and one's actually resting on the side of the roof. Um, the reason these wires are important to keep protected because these aren't protected by your raker box. These aren't protected by anything really. The only thing that protects them is that transformer out there. And I'll tell you what, if these wires short out, it's going to take a lot to blow that transformer. Uh, it'll make a significant fire and flare up an arc for a long time or um, probably before that transformer blows. So uh, if you make an addition to an existing house or anything like that, uh, talk to your contractor, talk to the electric company, find out what your requirements are for your um, if your service wires are in the way. Um, this is actually a pretty easy fix for a licensed electrician in, in coordination with the power company. Um, they'd probably come out here, add a mast, probably about a three foot mast. The service wires are tying up here. They would run out and uh, to the pole. But then you got this window right here. The biggest thing is you gotta make sure you got proper clearance from the window according to um, um, the local power company has their own clearances and there's national code on it too. But basically you can't reach out the window by any means and touch the wire also. So you know, if they raise it, they may be close to this window. So, all right, that's all I have for now. But like I said, um, you know, it's an easy fix. I don't, I don't know why the, the contractor put this addition on the roof or everybody just I don't know. I don't know if they, nobody told the owner. The owner didn't care, but um, that's a significant safety condition. Also, uh, this house has wooden um, fascia, but uh, if it was aluminum, um, like most houses, and uh, it can actually ground out onto the fascia, and then uh, you can have some kid walk around, touch a downspot or a gutter to a house, and be electrocuted. It happens actually a lot. Um, it ha I mean, not a lot, but I mean, it happens. It's possible. So, all right, that's all I have for now. Like I said. Pay attention to where your electric service wires come in at. They shouldn't be crowded by anything. You shouldn't be able to touch them um, unless, you know, you're way up on a ladder or something. But all right, that's all I have on this rainy day. Hopefully the rest of my inspection goes safe. Um, have a great day.